So hello everyone. Hope you are doing uh, fine. So I'm again here with another topic from physics that is motion of a charged particle in electric field. So we would be uh, sending some uh, charged particle, let's say some electron or some proton in electric field and then we uh, will be studying it as motion. How the trajectory of the particle change, uh, whether it will go up, whether it will go down. Okay, how much would be the speed of the particle that would be coming out of the electric field? Okay, if some uh, initial velocity would be given. So, all things would be discussed in this topic. So, uh, again, again, uh, there is some uh, assumption. That assumption would be gravity-free situation. Whatever we would be discussing, that would be gravity-free. Uh, we would be sending some electron or some proton in electric field, but there is no gravity. We would assume there is no gravity, otherwise everything else would change. So, this is some gravity-free thing. So, see, here is some two plates. One I would be treating as some positive plate and another as a negative plate. Even though this uh, condition is not necessary, but uh, this thing uh, would make our things very easy. And this positive charge would create electric field that would go downwards. And this positive charge would create electric field that would be like this. And this negative charge would also create electric field. And we know the electric field due to a positive charge would go away from this positive charge. And electric field generated by the negative charge would be would come uh, towards this negative charge. So this would be the electric field between the two plates. Okay, now let's take some charge. Let's take some electron here having some charge that is minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. Electronic charge would be minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs. Okay, and it has some mass m that mass would be equal to 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kgs. Okay, and let me give you some initial velocity v naught. Okay, I'm sending it like this. This is some this is some positive plate and this is some negative plate. Electric field is going downwards, okay? Because of some positive plate, it is coming downwards and because of negative plate, it would it is also downwards. And I'm sending some negative charge electron this way. Is that is that okay? Is that understood? Okay. So this uh, V naught is some initial velocity, but it is along x axis. Let me consider this is x axis and this as y axis. Okay. So let me write it here. Initial velocity along x axis is v naught. Is that okay? Okay. Now, when it enters into the electric field, we were assuming the path like this had not been there the electric field. But once the electron enters the electric field, this electric field now would deviate its path. Okay. When it is here, it's going to apply force on it. These electric field lines would apply force on it, and that would be in this direction. Or we can say this positive charge here would attract the electron towards itself. Okay, so the path would be like this. Okay, it is not a straight line, but it would be like this. This much is the deviation. Why? Okay, we need to calculate this y. This y we have to calculate. This is called the deviation. Okay, I already told you. This uh, v naught is the initial velocity along the x axis. There is no initial velocity along the y axis. So I would write here initial velocity along the y axis is zero. Is is that okay? Okay. Now see. Now this positive plate would be attracting the electron towards itself, and this negative plate would be repelling the electron. So the force which is applying or which is acting right now on the electron is along the y axis there is no force along the x axis x axis there is nothing somebody is somebody is not pulling the electron or somebody is not pushing the electron along the x axis that means there is no force along x axis so acceleration along the x axis would be zero is that okay so now what would be the acceleration along the y axis that is very important once the electron enters the ele into the electric field the force would be electric field times the charge. Is that okay? Because we know electric field would be given by the force divided by test charge. Okay, here the charge is electronic charge. So if we want to calculate the force, that would be electric field times the charge. 
so it is electric field times the charge of an electron that would be force and we know from newton's laws of motion force would be equal to the mass times the acceleration mass times the acceleration into l is equal to electric field times the charge on electron but i want to tell you that here this acceleration would be along the y axis because there is no acceleration along the x axis as there is no force along the x axis there would be no acceleration along the x axis the whole acceleration would be along the y axis so this acceleration is along the y axis that would be given by electronic charge divided by mass can anybody tell me what is this this is charge by mass ratio of electron is that okay so acceleration along the y axis would be e divided by m that is charge by mass ratio time is the electric field and we must be knowing the strength of an electric field okay is that okay okay now we're going to apply equations of motion equations of motion and that to be along both x axis and along y axis separately okay let, uh, let us apply s equals ut plus 1 by 2 at square along x axis is that okay and s equals ut plus 1 by 2 at square along y axis is that okay so let us consider the length of the plate as x x x and so this x would be this s x s x that is the displacement along the x axis would be x equals initial velocity along the x axis is v naught into t plus 1 by 2 and this acceleration along the x axis is zero okay in into t so that would give me v naught t which implies t equals x by v naught equation one and this this much of displacement is along the y axis this y that is actually the deviation we want to calculate so initial velocity along the y axis is zero okay zero into t plus one by two what is the acceleration along the y axis that is e by m into the electric field into t square okay let us substitute the value of t here in this equation okay so that would give us y equals one by two e by m electric field and t would be replaced by x by v naught whole square is that okay so that would give us some let me erase it here y equals 1 by 2 e by m into electric field x square by v naught square so this much deviation would be in the electron so it depends upon the charge by mass ratio. It also depends upon the electric field strength. It also depends on the length of the plate and on the initial velocity. Okay, you understand? More the charge by mass ratio, more will be the deviation. Okay, more the initial velocity along the x-axis, less would be the deviation. And obviously, if we, if we throw the electron with the most initial speed, then it would not deviate much. Rather than in the case, if we send the electron with a very less speed, then deviation would be more. Is that okay so there are there are other questions that would uh, that uh, might be asked in like neat and je examinations would be at what angle this electron would come out okay let me erase it here and i'll try to make it more clear okay so this is some initial direction of the electron and how much this is how much this angle is theta okay so see initial velocity that uh, this electron would be going uh, that is along the x axis would be same all over it is journey all over it is you know all, all path because there is no force along the x axis so so nobody can change this initial velocity along the x axis but the velocity along the y axis changes why because there is acceleration along the y axis is that okay so this v naught would be same v naught and there would be v y here okay but we need to calculate that final velocity what would be the final velocity at this point when it would come out of the electric field okay you are understanding because this velocity would change initially it has no velocity along the y axis but finally it has some velocity and it is also accelerating it is also accelerating. there is acceleration along the y axis so we need to calculate the final velocity when it would come out of the electric field so we're going to apply the equation so of motion again so vy would be equal as u y plus a t a y t okay so initial velocity along the y axis was zero so v y equal as a y what was the value of a y so it would be e by m into electric field is that okay into t and if we 
replace the value of t what was the value of t x by v naught so e by m into electric field into x by v naught is that okay so this is v y so v y would be given as e by m electric field x by v naught so if we want to calculate the angle so tan theta would be given by so this is some triangle and this is v y and this is some v x okay and v x would be v naught and if we apply tan theta would be given by perpendicular divided by base so v y is given by e by m into electric field x by v naught and v x is v naught because there is no change in the velocity along the x axis so e by m into electric field x by v naught square this is the tan theta and if you want to calculate the theta that would be tan inverse of e by m into electric field x by v naught square is that okay so this is the theta this is the angle at which this electron would come out of the electric field okay so we can write also the final velocity you know the the net velocity of this electron so net velocity would be velocity along x axis plus velocity along the y axis or j cap so v x is v not i cap because there is no change in the velocity along the x axis why because there is no force along the x axis and v y would be given by this e by m into electric field x by v not along y axis this is the final velocity and if we if you want to calculate the magnitude of the final velocity and i hope you understand the vectors v not square plus e by m e x by v not whole square you know because uh, i and j are 90 degree apart from each other so uh, the magnitude of the res uh, resultant vector would be given by root of a square plus b square plus twice a b cos of theta and since theta is 90 so cos 90 would be zero so there remains only this much of value is that okay so this is this is all about the problem